downtown Shanghai stands a wide building named the Marble Hall, with a look similar to the Louvre in Paris. It has a neoclassical style that's perfectly proportioned and exquisitely decorated. The stately home was built at a steep cost of one million pounds of silver. Hello, I'm Michelle Chiao. Please explore a unique Shanghai with me. Every visitor was shocked at its incredible grandeur and luxury, including Tigo, the famous Indian poet. Ballroom was stunning. There was a splendid corridor outside. The ground was covered by black and white terrazzo pavement. Stone of the same patterns replaced the terrazzo during the last renovation in 2000. 啊，翟工啊，我想请教一下，我们少年宫这个建筑，它的这个建筑的风格啊，到底怎么该定义呢？嗯，少年宫应该还是比较明显的法国古典主义风格的建筑。嗯，然后我们可以看看，就是外立面横三段和竖三段还是比较明显的。同时，我们还跟法国卢浮宫做了一个对比。嗯就是我们在做的时候发现，它体量上面的就是整个形式还是比较相像的，所以我们把这个它的建筑和我们少年宫拿出来做了一个对比。但是当然在规模上可能是少年宫是偏小的，但是整体的风格的布局上面还是比较像的。我们从一九年这个时候就开始来调研了，然后大家就会有很多人就是哇，少年宫，我小时候一直。很向往的地方，现在总算走进来了。很多人对我们说过这句话，然后少年宫觉得，所有人小时候，包括我们一些老同事，觉得这是我小时候的回忆。还有一些人觉得我小时候没有来过，但是我现在达成了心愿。所以我们说少年宫的价值，有时候我们说历史的价值、建筑的价值，那少年宫这些价值都有，还有很大的意义就是它是新中国的第一个少年。然后随着我们慢慢慢慢修缮，其实到中后期，我们又逐渐发现了一些挺有意思的。比如我们看到这张桌子，其实在后面梳理的时候，我们对了原始的照片，后来发现它就是以前放在一楼餐厅的那张桌子，包什么的，也是一直在使用。对，其实大家都没有想到，它就是以大概一百年前的。一个原物啊，真是一张我们大家又熟悉，但是又不了解它历史的一张桌子。然后这边应该说是他们自己内部，就是家族住的。然后对面就是客卧，包括每一个房间的开色工艺，其实颜色都是不一样的。就这间我们可以看到，这个就是这个就是我们其中一个开色的工艺。它是怎么做的呢？就是我先要打一层白色的底，在白色底上，然后再刷一层。现在看到这个绿色的涂料，然后在它半干的时候，我们要用棉花把它轻轻的擦掉。就最上面那层擦掉，这样我们就可以看到突出的地方是白颜色的，然后凹进去的地方是深颜色的，这样就非常有凹凸感、立体感，马上就出来了。The former guest room and dining room share the same decorative style. The walls are furnished with wood dados. The ceiling is decorated with reliefs of vine patterns. 在修理后，一幅画作被发现。它曾经被放置在古典主义的博物馆，它曾经被放置在古典主义的博物馆。它曾经被放置在古典主义的博物馆。它曾经被放置在古典主义的博物馆。它曾经被放置在古典主义的博
a hundred years ago in Shanghai, there was such a well-designed working refrigerator in Marble Hall. The second floor featured mostly bedrooms for hosts and guests. Compared with the ground floor, they are simply and warmly decorated. Now the rooms are used as classrooms for arts training. Mr. Kadori has promised to place the house at the disposal of any charitable society, of any nationality or religion, and he would pay for all expenses. The story of this white building has ups and downs. It is like a fairy tale, but it's real and moving. Marble Hall has been restored to its former glory, and will continue to accompany the children in its renewed state. <laughs>